Stay with us. Our coverage continues in less than three minutes. 612 on your alert day. So we want to get you ready for dangerous heat, not just today, but for tomorrow and Wednesday. So we're talking about real field temperatures up to 110. We've been saying if you don't have to be out and about today, you certainly don't want to be. Starting off though, that live look outside, it is beautiful out there and we are going to get a lot of sunshine today, but enjoy it from your window when you're inside in the AC. So brutal heat, we have this excessive heat warning, this fuchsia here for a good chunk of the state. So in that area, it could feel close to 110. Then we have the heat advisory, this orange for the lower portion of the eastern shore feeling close to 105 air quality alerts in effect. So this means that anybody with any kind of breathing issues, so uh, that would include young kids, the elderly, you don't wanna be out today. The air is just stagnant, that intense heat, humidity, that lack of wind able to mix anything out. So once again, just not a good idea to be out and about if you don't have to be. 79 is our out the door number in Baltimore. We are at 77 in Easton, 77 in Cambridge, Salisbury. You're starting your alert day with 75, Westminster 81 and Hagerstown at 80. And we already have some places where it's feeling warmer than the actual temperatures. For most of the day today, it's gonna be feeling about 10 degrees hotter than the actual temperatures are gonna be. The radar scan is quiet, but we do have the possibility for some scattered storms as the day goes on. Pretty isolated, it looks like very spotty here on the future cast. A little bit more scattered as we look ahead to Tuesday. And then the best bet is gonna be Wednesday when the cold front moves through. And that could trigger some severe storms, including damaging winds, very heavy rain, a little bit of purple there showing us some of the hail. So Wednesday, that's a day that we'll be watching what shapes up in the afternoon and evening as that front moves through in addition to the dangerous heat and humidity, 101. That's what is the actual high temperature forecasted for today. The previous record is 102 set in 1995. So we're gonna be very close to that, if not all the way there. And then tonight, we can't bank on getting much relief overnight. Temperatures only dipping down to near 80 degrees. So this is something that we are concerned about. Please make sure you're taking all those heat related precautions, staying very well hydrated and taking as many breaks in the AC as you can. I know some of you, you have to be out and about, you work outside. So please just do everything you can to stay safe out there. Harford County, you're headed for 95. We're on your corner in Bel Air, 96 in Joppa Town, 94 in Edgewood, 96 in Havage Grace. But again, feeling more like 105 once we factor in all the moisture in the air. And then we have upper 90s and even the triple digits, 100 for Elk Ridge, 99 in Jessup, 99 in Ellicott City. And then moving to Glenwood, 98, Poplar Springs, 97. But again, feeling more like 107 once we factor in the humidity. We're gonna break down your seven day forecast in just a sec for now though. I do wanna send it over to Angela for a look at our Monday morning commute.